Hey guys, welcome to another video and another question. And today I am dealing with the topic area and peri perimeter. So I have a couple of questions for you. You must pause after the question, try it out yourself and then check on the answer. If the length and breadth of a rectangular field are increased, the area increases by 50%. If the increase in length was 20%, by what percentage was the breadth increased? So area of any rectangular figure is length into its breadth, right? So area, area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth. That is something that we know, right? We are saying that we increased length and breadth and the area increased by 50%. So, so this means that say length into breadth is equal to A according to the question. When the length was increased by 20%, so the new length, new length is L plus 20% of L, so 20 upon 100 L. Then breadth also will be something new. Breadth is also increased by something. We don't know what that something is. And this is giving us 50% more area. So that means area becomes A plus 50% more of A, right, increases by 50%. So, which means that what I get, 120 upon 100 L into B is giving me 150 upon 100 A, right? So I can say that 12 upon 10 L into B dash, which is a new breadth, is equal to 15 upon 10 A. A is basically length into breadth. Okay, so A could be taken as LB. And that means LL cancels. And in terms of the relation between the new breadth and old breadth, what I'm going to get is B dash is equal to B dash is equal to 15 upon 10 into 10 upon 12 B. Okay, so that means what what is the change? We will figure it out. So 15 upon 12 B. So this basically means The new breadth, the new breadth is 5 by 4 B, which means it's 5 by 4 times of B. So what's the increase? What's the increase? You can say it's 1 plus 1 by 4 B. That is B plus 1 by 4 B. So clearly the increase is 25% of an increase in breadth. The new breadth is the old breadth plus 1 by 4 of the old breadth. So that means 1 by 4 means 25%. So there is a 25% increase in breadth. I've done it more logically. Uh, and and uh, this is how you can figure it out. So we had no figures in here. We just had percentages. And yes, we do have an option, 25%, which should be the correct option. So B is the correct option. There is a 25% increase. Let's brush up this concept with another question. The ratio of length and breadth of a rectangular plot is 71 is to 61 respectively. The area of the plot is 17, 324 meter square. What is the perimeter of the plot? 264, 284, 528, 614. Okay, so what do we know? 
the ratio of length and breadth is so let's take what we can do is we can take length as say 71x and let's take breadth as 61x so the ratio becomes 71 is to 61 right okay and what do we know we know that 71x multiplied by 61x length into breadth is the area it is turning out to be 17 324 it is given to us right so this means 71 into 61 x square is equal to 17 324 right so if you calculate this you will get that x square is equal to 17 324 upon 71 into 61 and that means it is 4 so x is equal to 2 of course it can't be negative so you will be taking 2 so x is 2 which means that the length is 71 into 2 that is 142 meters and breadth is 61 into 2 that is 122 meters and that means perimeter the perimeter which is basically adding all the sides right so that is twice of length plus breadth hence it's going to be twice of 264 and that means it is equal to 528 meters do we have any such options yes option c should be the correct option I hope with these two questions, uh, you would be able to, you know, recall all the basic formulas for perimeter and area and practice a little more. These are the kind of questions you could be asked in any uh, mathematical ability test. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.